MySQL is an open source relational database management system that is developed and supported by Oracle Corporation. A database is a collection of structured data. It can be a list of employees or a shopping list stored in the form of tables. To access or delete data stored in a database, you need a database management system such as MySQL Server. Hey guys, my name is KS Kiral. Welcome back to your brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MySQL Server on Windows 11. This is a step-by-step -step installation tutorial. At the end of this video, I will show you how to interact with the MySQL REPL environment to execute SQL statements. Make sure to watch the video till to the end without missing any parts of the video. Now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, as you can see, this is Windows 11 running on my PC. First things first, go ahead, open your favorite browser and head over to this link from the description, which will take you to the MySQL download page. You can see there are two available installers. The first one is the online installer that will download the SQL server during runtime. The second one is the offline installer, which has all the tools bundled as a complete package. It's recommended to download the offline installer. If you have an organization, it's better to use the offline installer to set up a MySQL server on multiple computers. Once you are done downloading the MySQL server on your computer, go ahead and open it. Now choose the setup type. By default, developer setup is recommended for most computers that install the MySQL server, MySQL shell, and MySQL router, and also add support for Visual Studio, Java, and more. If you are a developer, this is the complete package setup you need to work with MySQL. Then click on next. The installer may throw a warning for not satisfying the requirements. If you have not installed Python or Visual Studio on your computer, you may get this unsatisfied requirement message. Just go ahead and choose yes to discard. These are the tools that are going to be installed which include MySQL Server, Workbench Clients and more. Now click on execute to start installing the tools. This will take a few minutes, sit back and relax. Once it's done, click on Next. It's time to configure the SQL Server. Choose Next. For the config type, leave as Development Computer. If you want to use the entire computing resources for the MySQL database server, choose the last option. For now, I'm going to stick with the Development Computer. As you can see, this is a default port number for SQL Server. Leave everything to the defaults and click on Next. Now set the password for the root user. By default, MySQL Server creates a root user and you need to set a strong password. You can also create a standard user account and set a role to interact with the database. Now choose to add user. In my case, I'm going to type my name, then choose all host. And the role is going to be a database administrator. Then set the password for this user and make sure it's not the same as the root password. Now click on next, here you can see this option is ticked, that way MySQL server will start automatically after reboot. I'm not going to touch anything here and click on next to apply this configuration.
All right, now everything is done. Now click on finish. Lastly, you need to apply the router configuration. Just click on next and choose to finish. As you can see, this is a server we need to connect, which is running locally on this machine. At the bottom, you can type in the username and password to verify or validate the user. I'm going to test both users. As you can see, the check mark tells the authentication was successful. Now click on next and apply the final configuration. That's it, the installation is complete. I'm going to untick these two options. By default, a workbench is installed, which has a graphical user interface to write a SQL statement. Go ahead, select the local instance and enter the root password to start working with SQL using workbench. I'm going to show you a better way of interacting with the MySQL database server using a REPL environment. For that, open File Explorer, choose Local Disk C, Program Files, and look for MySQL folder. Inside here, look for the MySQL bin directory. As you can see, this is the MySQL command we need for the REPL environment. You go ahead, highlight the address bar from the top and copy the location of the MySQL files and add it to the system environment variable. To do so, open the search bar, type environment variable. Then click on the path, choose edit and click on new string and paste the location. This way you can interact with MySQL directly from the command prompt or PowerShell. Once it's done, open the command prompt. I'm going to change the font size. Inside here type MySQL dash dash version and you can see this is the MySQL version installed on my computer. You can also run mysql dash dash help to know more about the usage of the command. It's time to connect to the mysql server. To do so, type mysql dash h and specify the host name. In this case, it's a local host and dash uppercase p is to specify a port number, which is 3306. And the dash u option specifies the username, which in this case is the root and dash lowercase b for the password. Then press the enter key and type the root password. Voila, as you can see, I'm inside the MySQL REPL environment. Now I can easily execute the SQL statements. Let's just query the databases by running show databases. Then let's try to create a new database. Type create database example. Then to connect to the example database, type this command. Now I'm going to create a table called a person with four columns. I can use describe keyword to see the fields of the person. To insert data into a person table, you can use insert into keyword class and populate the data. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly set up MySQL server on Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. To exit from REPL environment, use backslash Q. And thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will catch you in my next video.